We hear about human trafficking all the time. It is the second largest and fastest growing criminal industry right now in the world, second only to drug trafficking. Eight Days of Hope has been busy constructing a safe harbor for victims and joining us now to tell us about this place of healing for girls is Colleen Fabling. How are you, Miss Colleen? I'm fine. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you for being here. For one, why was it important for Eight Days of Hope to answer the call when it comes to addressing human trafficking, sex trafficking? So nationwide, there's less than a thousand beds available for survivors. And so Safe Harbor in particular is a facility that was built to serve minors, um, um, young women in particular that are victims of human trafficking. So if you take a thousand beds nationwide and divide that by two, that's less than 500 beds for children. Um, to go and receive the healing that they need. And so Eight Days of Hope has a whole arm of the ministry called the Safe House Ministry Construction Arm. And we partner with um, ministries that are providing restorative care for these survivors to build the facility or renovate parts of their facility so they can increase their capacity. Now you just had a groundbreaking ceremony for Safe Harbor, which is based in Ohio. We're gonna show some video, but tell us about this. So this is a 30-acre campus um, tucked into some of the most beautiful country that we have in Ohio. Um, it's three cottages that can house 15 girls. Uh, it has an admin building that has a medical wing. It has a school with a uh, creative arts center aspect to it as well, and it has a chapel um, where these girls, when they come onto the property at Safe Harbor, will receive all of the care that they need, mental, mental physical, um, and emotional and spiritual. Um, it's, it's so important that these girls understand that this is a restorative care for all parts mm -hmm. of their healing. And when it comes to Safe Harbor uh, Ministry in Ohio, this is for girls from all over the country. It's not necessarily just people who are victims or survivors, I would say, in Ohio. Am I correct? Correct, yes. Um, this facility is for girls ages 14 to 18. So um, Safe Harbor staff is working with placement agents to make sure that the girls that come to Safe Harbor are the right fit um, so that they can provide the care needed. Um, it's a beautiful facility with an amazing team that is getting ready to open the doors to their first girl in the coming weeks. Oh, wow. So how does that make you all feel knowing that you are providing the healing that they need? I think that every single person from our team would say that it's one of the greatest privileges of our life to be a part of um, the solution to provide a safe place for girls to know that they were made by their creator and um, his desire is them you know, for them to be honored and respected. And this is a place for them to start over and have a fresh beginning to have life beyond slavery. All right, thank you so much there, Colleen Fabley, for joining us this afternoon. Well, still to come on WTVA 9 News at noon, we now know who's this year's celebrity.